Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Battlestar Galactica season 1, episode 11. No. <laughs> episode 11. Yesterday I watched the episode 10. If you didn't see my reaction video about that, I'm gonna put the link. I was supposed to watch this episode 11 yesterday, but I had some issues to deal with, so I didn't have the time to do it. But my issues are fine now, they are solved. So I have the time today, but just to watch one episode. I'm gonna try to find some time during this weekend, maybe to watch, you know, the two last episodes together. I don't know how I'm gonna manage that, but I'm gonna try to do that. Also, I want to talk to you about the fact to maybe change my way to react to season two, three and four. I think that we have four seasons. Yes, I want to maybe change my way to react to this three last seasons, three next seasons of Battlestar Galactica because it's long seasons, you know, with a lot of episodes and you know that I have some issues with uploading the reaction videos on YouTube, you know that I can only upload the intro and review part on YouTube and then put the rest on another platform. I was thinking about maybe binge watching three episodes at a time or two episodes at a time and post you the intro of and review of these two episodes, you know, my impression before beginning the first one and my impression after watching the second one and putting the reaction part of these two episodes on the other platform. Tell me if you are interested by that or if it can disturb you. I want to have your opinion about that. Again, because it's long seasons with a lot of episodes and it's short episodes, you know, with Battlestar Galactica, it's sometimes like just 40 minutes episodes and that's all when we are used to have like long episodes of 50 minutes on my channel with you when I'm reacting to shows. So. Yes, I thought about that and I think that it can be more interesting for you to have me reacting to two or three episodes at a time than just one, you know, because I saw myself during the editing of this episode, you know, of the season one and I saw that I repeated myself a lot, so I'm not sure, you know, that it's not annoying for you to see me repeating myself and myself again and again. So, yes, I was thinking about that to manage the fact that it's long seasons with short episodes, to also manage the fact that I have difficulties with YouTube and to upload on another platform and it's, you know, a lot of work to add to the binge watching of the show and also to make these videos interesting for you to watch, to listen to, to you know, respond to with your opinion on it. So tell me, tell me if you can be interested by that or disturbed by that. I want your opinion on that. Also, before beginning to talk about Battlestar Galactica, I want to remind you that I opened a PO box for the months of February and March. If you didn't know that, I'm gonna put the link of the video just right there. And I put, you know, all of the conditions to participate into that PO box into the video, so go check it. And you know, I'm gonna respond to all of you, for sure. I mean, by later, I'm gonna respond to all of you. Now I know that I'm gonna also send my gift that I made for you to all of you also, because you are not a lot to send me something. Not that I'm complaining, like I'm really so excited to just have one, two. I know that I have five letters and boxes and I'm already so happy about that. You can't imagine how much, but I know now that I can also send that gift to all of you. So that's great. And I said during this video that I was closing my PO box at the, the 15th of March. Maybe I lied to you because I didn't want you, you know, to send me stuff after that because if you are sending me stuff from US, from another 
country and all of that the time that it needs to come to France and to come to my storage box I was not sure that it will be right on time but now that I know that I don't have a lot lot of letters and boxes to open I can tell you that in fact my box is open for February and for all of the months of March but be careful again because if you are sending me something you know at the end of the month of March I'm not gonna receive it because of the time that it needs to come to me and I don't want something to be sent back to you so please be careful with that you still have time I'm telling you it for a reason to tell you that maybe if you forgot you know to send me something you still have time to do that but be careful with the dates I tried my best, you know, to warn you about that on Twitter, to send you a reminder and all of that. So be careful with that. Okay, a lot better song I can now. I'm in love with the show, for sure. The more I'm seeing myself, you know, during the editing of the video, and the more I see that I'm into it each time. I'm in stress for the characters, I'm in tension for them, I'm happy with them, like when Starbucks is smiling. I want to smile so hard because I love her character so much. And that's it. I'm into it because of the story, because of the fact that I found it really interesting to have people, you know, trying to survive on space and dealing with that, you know, dealing with the lack of fuel, the lack of water and yes trying to survive and having the hope that maybe someday they're gonna find a planet on which they can live and also the silent story because it's really something that was important during the context of the show you know when it was written the fact that enemies can have your face you can't tell who the enemy is you can't tell when they're gonna attack and you have to be careful with that and it's bringing a paranoia you know into this world and during the time of the show in our world so that's why i found the story really interesting but also the characters for me are so great because each one of them you know had at one moment the place to express him or herself the place to be him or herself they gave us you know the time to love them to understand them their character how they are functioning how their emotions are working what their thoughts are even for Gaius you know even if I don't like his character we had plenty of time you know to understand him to know him to meet him I don't like his character because I can't trust him I don't believe into him I think that is falling more and more into the silent side and that's why I don't like him and sometimes he's annoying but I can see you know why some of you are fan of him like you are feeling that he's someone funny and I can totally understand that but except for him and for the colonel wife except for the two of them I'm loving each character I'm loving more Hilo and Starbuck I cannot hide it. But yes, I'm in love with all of the rest of the characters. Like Lee is clever and he's a great pilot. And okay, he's impulsive. And okay, at the beginning, I had some issues with how he was talking to his father. But now their relationship and his relationship with Starbuck are really making me smile each time. And I'm protective with him. I don't know if you saw that, but I saw myself being protective with him, especially during the colonel's wife episode. I don't know, it's like the brother that you want to protect, like you want to be rough with, but you want also to protect him, you want to push him, you know, to, to be a better person. It's working like that for me. I want to take care also of the president, you know, she's in a bad health and I want to be supportive with her, with what she's doing. Same for Adama's father, same for the chief, you know. I really appreciate his character and I want to see more about him and not just about Boomer, you know, not just about Boomer on 
the Battlestar Galactica, I, ah, I don't want him to be just resume, you know, with his relationship with her. I don't want that. I think that he can be a really great character if it's not just about that. So yes, I hope that he's gonna have more place into the show. And Hilo, of course, I love his character. He sacrificed himself during the miniseries and after that he's taking care of the boomer on Caprica and he's the one who is always doing the right thing, you know, support, protect, love. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a fan of him, I can't hide that I have a crush on him. And of course, Starbuck, I love her so much, her character. She's brave, she's a badass, she's a boss, but she's not afraid also to show her emotions. She's having a relationship and I cannot thank enough the writers to give her all of that, to show that she can have all of that. She's such a great pilot, but she's also able to plan things, you know, to plan a strategy attack and she was so great to do that. Thank you writers to write a character like her, a woman like her into a show. Thank you. Really. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking right now and let's go for this episode 11. The cat is back. If you were there during the hunting of Hill House binge watching, you know which cat I'm talking about. Ah! That was a great episode, but I don't like the conclusion of this episode. Gaius is the vice president. Gaius is dancing with Starbuck when at first it was with Lee that she was dancing. He took his place. I don't know what of these two things is making me more angry and sad. <laughs> I know that it's gonna be a slow burn ship, you know. Lee and Starbuck, I know that. And for some minutes, you know, the two of them dancing together and saying to each other good things, I was like, maybe not, maybe I'm gonna have it soon. No, that's going to be a slow burn ship. And I can see that they are building also a relationship between her and Gaius. I cannot wait to hate that, you know. I cannot wait to be mad at him and also her to fall into that trap, into his trap. Like, ooh, I'm going to hate that. I can promise you that I'm going to hate that. Be prepared to me. Rolling eyes, being mad, saying bad stuff. About, you know, the vice president thing, I was really not thinking that it was gonna be a bad thing to have Zarek being the vice president. I'm sorry, but no, I don't think so. Because, okay, he doesn't have the same opinion of the actual president and the actual government, and okay, he can be a pain in the ass because of that. But he's also, you know, supported by a lot of people and the people who are supporting him can be violent people, you know, can think that violence is a solution. And to add him into the government, it's a way to neutralize that, you know, to neutralize the ones who think that violence can be a solution. And it can be also a way to say to these people, okay, we are thinking of you, we are having one of you into our government and we are working together. Everyone thinking in one direction and everyone agreeing on what the president is doing. I don't think that it's great. I think that in democracy you need to have someone to tell you when you're wrong and to have different opinions, you know, during the last episode. Adama, he needed Starbucks to think out of the box and I think that in politics, in government, we need that also. We need someone, some people to tell us, okay, maybe you're right, maybe that solution can be also interesting. Can we think about that? Can we work on that? 
And that's my way of seeing democracy, you know. So that's why for me, having Zarek into the government was not a bad thing. Because I was not thinking about the successor thing, you know, aspect. And I was not thinking about the fact that maybe being the vice president, he was going to try to kill the president to be the president. No, I mean, he would have been protected and all of that. I don't know. I was really not thinking about that aspect. For me, the democracy aspect was more interesting. To have Gaius being the vice president, like, he's gonna... I know that he's clever and I know that he can be useful. But he is in love with a Cylon. He needs a... He has a silent into his head who is telling him stuff, who is influencing him to do stuff. He is believing into her God. He is thinking that he is a messenger, the instrument of this God. Can we really want that person to be into the government? Oh, but no. Yeah, I'm sorry if you are hearing that, but I think that we're gonna have to continue this review with that sound. My neighbor is walking, you know, into his garden. I really don't trust him, so I don't know what he can do bad, you know, with this position. This position is gonna give him power and maybe privileges or maybe rights to do stuff. It can't be great. Uh, I don't know how and where you can go with that, but we'll see. We'll see about that. The colonel's wife, I don't like her as much as I don't like Gaius, if I think about it a little. We still don't know if she's a silent or not, but even if she's not a silent, she's so annoying, she's so manipulative, she's manipulating her husband, and I don't like that because I love the colonel and also right there she's thinking about herself having a better situation is it because she's a silent and she wants to have a better place to do something maybe but again even if it's not because of that it's I don't know her image her ambition no really no I didn't like that moment, you know, that fight with Lee deciding for everyone that they were not gonna hear the rest of the speech of Zarek, like, who are you to decide for everyone? Of course, I wasn't okay with that guy beginning the fight and all of what happened after that. And you know the fact that they were torturing that man to have information, they were ready to use violence, they used violence to have information, that kind of thing, you know, I'm not okay with that. I know that during the time of the show, during the context when the show was written, it was shocking no one because it was, you know, the response that people needed into screen for what was happening in real life. I know that, I studied that, so I really know that, but now, in our days, watching that and just me watching that, I can't agree with that. I can't be okay with that. That's against my principles in life, you know, human rights. I'm really ruling for human rights. Even in that kind of situation, you can't know. You can't know if he's innocent or not. So you're ready to torture, to use violence against an innocent person because maybe he's not a good person like that's already a subject and I'm not even talking about redemption I'm not even talking about justice uh, I didn't like that really I didn't like that but I understand why they used that and why the writers wrote that during the time of the show okay so it was all for Battlestar Galactica for you and for me for today because I don't have the time to watch one more episode so it's all for us, the two of us, to, for today, and it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.